creativity is considering the idea and coming up with something original. Innovation is figuring out how to put it in practice. I'm Sean Garrity and I get to work on one of the most uh, exciting conservation projects going on anywhere in the world. The goal is to secure in North America a reserve based on the grasslands in uh, northeast Montana that would operate at full scale. And that means it was big enough to have all the original species of modern times to be able to have almost all of them back with enough room to survive just about any kind of thing characteristic of this landscape. We started with about 20,000 acres. We have 300,000 now and growing at about 25 to 35,000 acres a year. Now all the question is is scaling up. We have brought in some yearling calves and uh, we've, we've done this before. We'll open these gates. You never know what's going to happen. They might stand there for hours just like that because they're afraid, or they might come barreling out of here. Both, all things have happened. <laughs> we have maybe uh, 100 uh, friends from uh, Fort Bell Nap Indian Reservation, both Assiniboine and, and Grovant uh, tribes. It's a nice celebration of saying, okay, it's happened again, another batch is coming, and once they're out the door, that's, that's it. We don't touch them anymore. One thing that's very interesting is time gets away from you. You think something's gonna take a, a certain amount of time, you plan it all out, and I'll go here and go there, and then 45 minutes here and there just evaporates. There's a couple of species that really make the thing work. You can hear this chirping behind us. Those are prairie dogs, and they used to be out here in the tens of millions. We are definitely working to, to bring them back to, uh, to more historic populations. They're the soil engineers. The bison here are also a keystone species. They do a different kind of engineering. As they move across the landscape, obviously they, they eat a lot of forage, but the way they move, it's a very circuitous route. So what you want out here is to have as much diversity in terms of habitat, and they help mess it up. They're critical, but you, you need a lot of them and they need a lot of space to move. At the moment, I think we're sitting probably roughly in the area of uh, 350 animals. We're headed for 10,000 minimum. That's the largest herd on the planet. We'll keep going as long as we have room. The question comes up is, what does it take to make it sustainable and not uh, dependent on particularly a charismatic leader? And we started thinking about that from day one. The scale of what we're doing here really requires a continued expansion of collaboration. There's no substitute for people walking and seeing things with their own eyes, uh, setting up camera traps, and uh, seeing the, the seeing and feeling the landscape day after day after day. So we can click on that one, and it. We uh, just captured a great. Uh, bobcat in an area that was quite unexpected. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. that with the two spots above it on that leg. And Out in the flats, walking like through the sagebrush uh, at about five o'clock in the morning. So what we're realizing is some of our assumptions about wildlife are going to be changing because we have so many eyes out there. Basically, the key is how do you make it become something that is treasured by everybody? So you have to build this Starting now, a vast constituency of people who see it, who value it, admire it, and see it as a treasure that deserves protection. You're drawn into long-term thinking as opposed to getting to the two o'clock meeting. You're doing the thing, but then having a conversation with somebody and say, hey, let's hang on a second here. A hundred years from now, how much does this matter? The opportunity to work on so many cool things just keeps growing every year. So this is it. This is the time to be involved.